Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Narcosis. Narcosis is a survival horror game about being stuck in a diving suit in the depths of the ocean. Oceanova was once in a lifetime. They're breaking new ground, making something meaningful. Mining methane hydrate frozen beneath the seabed. There's alternatives, but none so plentiful. It's clean and safe. I couldn't say no. Sorry about your weekend, but someone had to draw the short straw. We've got a lot of updates to get through, but new suit, same rules. Give me a sec. Okay, instruments. O2. Flares and thrust. Oh, Jesus. Here, you know the drill. You're stressed, panicking, breathing hard. I'm stressed, panicking. Breathing hard. <sighs> Control seems relatively straightforward. Sensors tripped. As you know, your O2 burns down a lot faster under stress. Anyway, let's move. Simple. So you're basically telling me if I'm attacked by something or scared by something, I can't camp or I'm gonna slowly die. So that was a flashback. We've took quite a bit ahead. And I've run to the sea. Six flares, 78% oxygen. There was a fish. Can't look straight down. I can only look around in my pit cockpit. Pretty interesting so far though. Nice atmosphere. <laughs> what? Oh. Looks like we... Some kind of thing swimming for the water. We just got our combat knife. I'm assuming that means that thing that was swimming might not be friendly. Move a little faster. Pick up the pace a bit. Oxygen getting a little bit lower. It's not too bad, but not comfortable. Hmm. I'm hearing some noises, but. Not sure that's anything I should be concerned about. No, wait, 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 wait. Cave in? No, we're fine. Let's hop the gap. Can't see. Something's still not. Hold on a sec. Um, I need you to hit thrusters one more time. Uh, uh, I ready. see. Yeah, I already, I already figured this out. I'm already on the steps right now. It was kind of relatively straightforward. All good. Let's try it in reverse. Okay, target practice. Fire a couple of flares. There's some flares right there. Okay. Do you do you want me to? Shoot towards the hoops. It's melee. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see if we can hit the farthest one. All right. Range cap is right about there. Yeah, that's about our max range. Navsis, check. Thruster, check. Launcher, and check. Let's get out of here. Grab a little sunshine while we can. Now where am I? 
Oh, they, they turned me around, I see. They assumed I wouldn't be able to jump this gap, so they had to give me a little mini tutorial. There's a fish, and there's an, a number of fish. What I don't quite get is, are we on an alien planet? It looks vaguely like a normal abyssal fish, but I'm not sure. Follow the obvious trail. Save my flares for right now. Vision getting a little bit foggy, I don't like that. Oxygen much lower. Maybe I should test out a flare. Kind of bounces on the ground. I should take a note of that. Uh, yeah, I'm alright. I'm just testing out controls. I'm not breaking the fourth wall or anything. Revo 2. Only one tank? Robots all riled up. Don't want to miss that. I'll circle back with JJ tomorrow. Get this all wrapped up. So I'm hoping you are not a red shirt. Because I have a bad feeling right now. 10.02, February 2nd. We were 50 miles from the epicenter. But an 8 on the Richter scale makes that kind of distance irrelevant. How you doing, buddy? Oh, God. I don't see anything. Oh, God. The shockwaves hit six minutes later, striking the south face of the hab first and hardest. 27 minutes in, with that kind of concussive force, even the sealed modules were compromised. After that came the ocean. By 1033, only safe havens in a sub or one of the suits. The greatest danger. Not a giant sea monster. Earthquakes. And tidal shifts. The things that usually might kill us. <laughs> Where am I? Seems like I'm at the bottom of some rubble. Let's move this way, I'm assuming. Hey! Hey! No! No! Oh god, I know what happens. Oh god, he's being sucked into the pipe. Someone... Ah! No! He's, he's... Get off! Get off! I'm a little confused now. No. <laughs> that that part, that little flash of Maul right there, I'm pretty sure was not intended. Can I go around that? That is just steam. So if you want to know how this person died, he basically... Look up, crab gets sucked up into a pipe. And if you don't like animals, watching animals get hurt, then don't watch that, but... Um, that basically happened to his suit, and he got sucked out of his own suit. Yeah, that was a horrible way to die. And there's actually a... Actual way you can theoretically die, if you've gotten one of those pipes. Uh, ghost not included. I am seeing weird fish. Oxygen's really low, we need to get move on, we can't dilly-dally. 
I'd love to stay here and look at the environment, but... Oh, hi. Uh, hi. Hi, buddy. Alright, well, we got full... O2. Let's keep moving. What? Okay, you're just a fish. A friendly fish. Fish are getting really active now. Can we make this jump even? Not sure. Can I give it a go? No! I'm dead. What? Those are some big crabs. Let's keep moving. I don't want to remain here. Elevate O2 intake. It's because we're detecting the Check your gear and trust your training. It's one of the first things you learn. But the second they fail, you fall back on what you know best. For me, it's the list. This time, it wrote itself. Keep breathing, find others, and get the hell out. Kind of pretty, actually. In an alien way. Hey, look, it's another one of those crabs. Tasty. So keep up the pace. Don't want to lag around too much. Oh, look, little crabs. Friendly. I mean, they're crabs. What are they going to do to them in a suit? Yeah, like one, one thing I do. This game very claustrophobic, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Go, crab! Maybe elevate O2 intake. Is it just because there's so many crabs around? That's a big crab. That's a real big crab. Should I back up? Yeah, it's coming this way. Let's back her up. It's not it's not coming in very fast, but it's not I'm not very comfortable being here. You know what I mean. Dying, dying. Is the crab still coming? Or did it go back? Can't tell. It's pretty dark. It could nail me around the corner. I gotta be careful. I think even if it was a giant crab, can it really, like, pierce this suit open? That's the question. Four flares. Oxygen getting a bit low. It's over there. Pull up. Yeah, that crab is really big. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm sliding, I'm sliding! 
Still sliding. We're okay. It's a well-made suit. Loading screen. Oxygen low, only three flares. Really need to recharge. Gotta keep the pace up. There's gotta be some oxygen over here. Hopefully. Next flares. Let me see if I can... Yes, I can. I can farm this for flares. Oxygen right here. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, buddy. So far we've only encountered a giant crab, which I wasn't even sure if it was a threat or not. So nothing too dangerous down here. Maybe it's actually pretty, if anything else. When it's all bearing down on so many levels, it's got to be managed. You can't shake the pressure. Just make your peace with it. Don't start talking it to yourself. By making a running commentary about the danger levels of crabs. Like a school of fish up there. Tube worms. Go this way. Hmm, those are some big ones over there. There's a lot of tube worms around here. I swear, those plants... Some banjo, banjo kazooie crash bandicoot platform in here. Uh, it could have been real bad. This suit is well made. That could have been really bad. Oh no. Yeah, we gotta watch out. I need to stop worrying about, like, living things and worry about the natural elements. And I, I'll say that as a giant sea monster comes out around the corner, but... No. Hold on. Gonna... Mess up a little bit of... Guidance light. I think we can still make this... No, 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 Oh, no, 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 we're going down. We're still alive, we're still alive. I think we're still alive anyway. Not sure I'm supposed to be using this pipe. Let's see if we can get out through here. Okay, we're we're good. We're basically playing a disaster flick, but we're alright. Mm. Well, if it doesn't know what you O2 recharge here, so I think we're good. Probably partial fills. No, not... Flares, I'm assuming. Launch one out, grab a number. Keep moving. What? That does not look like anything that's supposed to be in the ocean. Left. There's protocol for everything. Has to be. 
second guessing puts lives at risk. So it's best to stick to procedure, step by step. So with an all hands call, you head straight for Compass One. Try and reach surface from comms. For a second there, I thought that light was a building. And then it turned out it was just a fish. Someone jellyfish. Someone didn't make it. Benjamin. Thanks for the O2. Benjamin Isra. First for us, now Isra. Like me, she was out on Ava when this all started. Like me, she was probably headed back in search of others, or at least a little calm in the storm. I found her at the perimeter of Compass One. Too close for comfort. Behind a shattered visor, her face was bathed in blue light. Quiet, if not quite at peace. Another sleeper in the veil. A plain, painful reminder of how little separates us from the elements. Something tells me this is all worse than I thought. So we actually can confirm the crew members as we find them. Sadly enough. Russ is the one that was the one that died earlier. I don't see Russ here though. Anyway, let's keep moving. What are, th what is that anyway? Ha! Go! Back off! It's... I guess it is like a little... A little squid. I mean, it's not little, but it's not, at least it's not a giant squid or a colossal one. JJ? Finny? Is anybody getting this? Just read. Ah, oh, I hate talking too soon. So I'm assuming things don't necessarily kill me down here because I'm in a big iron suit. I'm assuming they just scare me, and I just slowly die from lack of oxygen. Let's line up the routes. Over here. Why not? Get some oxygen. Good to go. Five hours of sleep strongly recommended per 24 hours. Well, thank you for telling me, game. Yeah, I, I guess this is just a normal ocean. Because these are like species I've seen before. The giant octopus, maybe not. From the outside, the structure seemed intact. But from the inside, so the structure the was doomed. Well, maybe it's okay. Access denied. Override airlock. Proceed to inner seal. We ran all kinds of drills. You... believe you know what to expect? But once I got inside... Gone. ...where it's familiar and you should feel safe. Even though I had to, those first few steps weren't easy. Gym. Loading area. See if anyone's alive in here? I have a feeling this is one of those games where you don't find anybody though. Supply storage. I want to hit that up actually. It opens.
Our flares are maxed out, so that's useless to us. Oxygen getting a little bit too low for comfort. We burn for oxygen way too fast. Fish are already swimming around. There is an oxygen tank there. Huh. Dead? Let's not look at it directly. That's locked. Go around. It's just draining my oxygen out. Ah, a starfish. Locked. Okay. This one's open. I'm kind of surprised I have not seen any bodies. Like researchers... People just eating lunch? A little... a little curious. I don't... I don't think it's like meant anything, like a, a lore thing or anything like... Wait, no, there's a giant crab, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. That could be the that could be the issue. Giant, giant, very angry king crabs. Oh man, we're dying. Take that. Keep moving. Hopefully, that king crab doesn't start moving. Hello. We got something here. Need to be something. And here's it to one of them. We all met long before setting foot down in Compass One. ADA training, briefings, trust exercises. Dr. Liang asked us the color of Susie right off the bat. Said it's easier to pronounce, but really she just couldn't stand people screwing up her real name, like me. Looks like she grabbed an O2 tank and breathed her before climbing into the ventilation shaft. Clever, but you cannot with the ocean. After forcing its way in, it swept her literally off her feet and hung her out to dry. Yeah. Stay weird. I mean, we're going down. We need to go. That crab started moving. Speaking of crabs, I've started moving. Go away. Oh god. Went up above. We're gonna have company pretty soon. We need to get going. No. Oh no. It's right above us. Yo! No! Go, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Get, get, 
け They don't have to be this way, Calamari. They don't have to be this way. You couldn't leave well enough alone. Never one. Let's see. Alone or not so humble as to hide it. Dr. Bay held up court and geology module. It looked as though through the walls the lab swallowed him up, then spit him out. I can picture the look on his face, the floor yawning wide beneath his padded levered feet, his precious papers fluttering all around. Lover nature's a harsh mistress, and when she comes knocking, it's from every possible angle. Poor guy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's... I see you're playing that game with me. The ocean's encroaching. Keep going, just keep going. There's nothing wrong with this. We're definitely losing it. We're losing a lot of oxygen into our mind. Let's grab some flares, launch a few of them out into the wilds here. Grab some extra evac pods offline. Evac pad is, pod is online in Compass 2 though. Unable to establish connection to the surface. Reaching the surface was off the table, physically or otherwise. So it's simple. Hitch a sub to Compass 2 and hope others did the same. I hope they didn't. It's the only sub that worked. Grim enough. Oh, oh, okay. Thanks for taking my flares away that I had to plant around. Get some O2. Well, let's keep going. These doors are closed up. Maybe we can do something in here. It said access to server room after all. Reconnect. Got nothing there. See the shuttle blade, board shuttle, transfer. Probably in here. Oh, we got another body. Palavi was the first to reach the evac pond and got caught in the blast when it ruptured. In a sealed environment, flames burn hotter, propagating at an accelerated rate. Chemicals, confined spaces, oxygen-rich air. As a chemist, she understood the risks, but that didn't keep her from griping about how many restrictions hindered her research. We all had our challenges in the hab. Personal and professional, but at least we're on the same ship. Only well, now it's a Viking funeral. Hmm. How did I even get in here? Launch that real quick. Again, grab flares. Recharge my oxygen. I think we have a limited right in this area. 
Good to go. Well, let's get going. Normally, the habs are lit up top to bottom, all the time. A lot of the gear was waterproof. Some of the lights and monitors were still running. So it wasn't dark, but it's fading. Like the whole thing's on life support. Someone's body? Oh god, they got squitted, didn't they? No! They would have drowned far before a, a squid like, choked them to death. Decoy octopus. <laughs> I don't get it. That was just Chiba I just got him out of the way. <laughs> no, that's a bigger one. Flare, flare. Keep one out just in case things start going down. Someone liked retro games. Phone call. We'll answer in a second. Don't jump scare me. I'm gonna go for the phone. Where is it? It's ringing down here. I hear something alive behind me. Go! We're losing it. Unless there's a twist where we're already dead. And my hands are permanently stuck in the spooked motion. And I cannot do anything. I can't open the door. I can literally not do anything. Yep. So scared <laughs> we bugged out the game. Time to reload. Okay, we're back in business. Definitely losing it. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, just just start doing the, the the not mannequins with me. That's fine. You think I feel any guilt? I was the one who survived. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I lived. I think we can do something here. Maybe uh, I'll come back if I. I'm not sure if I have the platform up there or not. I wonder if one of those visions was foreshadowing. They were about to be attacked by a giant calamari. Nope, they are just being attacked by my self-loathing. Next one. Debating if there's gonna be a, a vision. Okay, there's no phone down there. Get out of your room. Every room is actually is customized. It's kind of a nice touch. Take that oxygen. I'm gonna need that after seeing so many things that freak me out. Caved in. It's just a little crowd. It's a little one, it's that's alright. I mean, the isolation is... 
unnatural. Little problems start to spiral. Any baggage you don't check at the surface comes unpacked pretty quick. Some find ways to cope, others struggle. Okay. So I was right you had to go up here, but you can't platform from down there. At least not easily anyway. Fish. Can go over here. Keep them move on. More cavens. Really worried about that giant calamari. Nice totally placed skull. There's one calamari. I don't like this tube. That thing was running for something bigger. That's what I feel like. Which is why I'm gonna walk directly towards that direction. Okay, let's go this way instead. Seems to be safe and clear. Something just saw... Something's running again. I saw something behind the pipe. Not sure if right way or if I'm screwing myself. Dead calamari. What killed the calamari? Never one. Those are must have been right outside the compass one when the shockwave hit. Cut off, maybe forced to make his way back and using the surface tunnels. It's hard to believe that something punctured his suit. The local wildlife tends to be docile, skittish, but all the heat and light commotion has the whole place stirred up. And to survive these conditions, I guess you gotta be gracious as a guest, as you are a warm host. Which is saying not at all. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Watching life go by inside the bubble. Get off! Get off! The ones that care get a head start learning to live without you. So the grief comes first, whether or not you're really gone. Not sure I am. There is stuff ah, all over the place. Put flare down, distracts him. There's some oxygen over here, I need to grab it. Let's see, short, sweet, and simple. Lyle lived up to his name. It's impossible to say if he drowned or fell or something else. Even with so many things that could go wrong at the drop of a hat. Two miles down. Drowning wasn't really something we really thought a lot about. That water pressure alone is going to start killing people down here. To be honest. Let's get away from Bonnie. It doesn't no good. Gotta restore the power. Hey there. Personification of guilt suit. How do you do? We got power on. Whether that's good or bad, we'll find out. Usually more abstract. 
this is intimate. It's like when you pass an accident on the freeway. All the possibilities run wild. But then a song you like comes on, or your exit's coming up, and you've moved on. Back to normal. That was an okay allegory. Could have been a little bit better. Look, it's what to do in a panic. First you turn your left head to the right, then you turn your head to the left. Then you do the hokey pokey, and then you curl up into a fetal position and wish you weren't here. And that's how you do. Essentially. <laughs> Hmm. I swear I'm hearing one of those calamaris. server room. This is where we actually need to go. We gotta reset things out. Alright. Alright, spirit of my guilt. Don't jump me. Go away, buddy. Just go away. I have no use for you anymore. I see what kind of game you're playing. Could be already dead. I hope they don't pull that twist on us. I'm hoping it's just our stress. Can't use my flares. Gotta wing it. Gonna jump in the hole in the right time, which is not now. Doesn't really matter too much. It's gonna reopen. go. I know my platforming. That's not good. Okay, it was just temporary. What was... Keep moving, keep moving. Glass is breaking under us. Keep moving. Damn my guilt! Manifesting his platforming puzzles. Keep going. Keep up. Okay. I can't make that one. platform on. We're going for it. No. Well, let's just go in this one. Maybe this one will still work out for us. Later, buddy. I got no use for you. Yeah, I should stop boosting around first, or I'm gonna get permanently stuck, like I just did just now. Almost. Oh boy. 
Oh boy, I'm not even boosting anymore. It's like a mole in a minefield right now. I got five pancakes and the waffles are out of the house. Okay. Whew. Looks like we'll glug down for there forever. No oxygen. We should keep moving then. Door. I'll go in whatever door I see, I guess. They're planning on 60, 75 once the whole thing's staffed up. So with just 20 of us, there's already this hollow quality. Like dropping by the office when everyone's gone for the weekend. Not a lot there of time for again. recreation, but the options First were there. on that side. They did their best to keep us happy. Well, let's keep moving. Let's run away from the crab. Go into the bathroom. They don't check there. Crabs don't check bathrooms. They're a very shy creature. What is that? A vice is a tiny haven. A personal refuge. A reminder that you're only human. Really helpful when you're packed inside a tin can at the bottom of the sea. God knows what it gives to me to help me forget about all of this. Even for a few minutes. See the crab pass by. Seems that way. The crab is not too aggressive. It's the giant calamari I'm going to be worried about. Oh, and the um, the walking disease cloud, uh, diving suit, ghost. I'm actually not sure what that is, but something all right. There's oxygen over there. Sax was serious about his own health, as he was ours. But even between the endless work and the daily workouts, he exuded effortlessness. Effortlessness. Wise and whoever being like some sort of boxing monk. Behind the ravaged remains of his face, I could still see, himself, see some of that serenity. I have to believe that. To imagine he chose to just sit back and let it be all wash over him, rather than spend his final moments finding inevitable. So the calamari definitely did a number on his face. But the kill is probably the drowning. Should head back to the lobby the pod. I wasn't quite sure what that suit that was walking around was. It seemed like it was being controlled by like a swarm or something. Some kind of species I don't really know about in that capacity. I don't know. <laughs> 